look at the Congress, though, it's it's like 24 hours since John McCain was put to death. And it look. It's, it's like 24 hours since John McCain was put to death. Former First Lady Barbara Bush has decided to stop seeking medical care. In a statement, Bush family spokesman Jim McGrath writes, following a recent series of hospitalizations and after consulting her family and doctors, Mrs. Bush, now age 92, has decided not to seek additional medical treatment and will instead focus on comfort care. Good evening. We are coming on the air with some sad news to report the death just announced of former First Lady Barbara Bush. They just now released from John McCain and his family uh, that he will no longer be uh, seeking medical treatment. As Senator John McCain has died at the age of 81. His passing comes after a battle with brain cancer that was first diagnosed in July of 2017. McCain and Palin uphold the principle that every human being born and unborn, young and old, healthy and disabled, has a fundamental individual right to life. If a broad statement needed to be made on McCain and pa Palin's position on euthanasia and physician assistant suicide, they would be against the practices, okay? McCain, Barbara Bush, provide end-of-life inspirations. Days before she died at 92, former First Lady Barbara Bush announced that she would stop seeking treatment for congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and focus instead on, quote, comfort care. Days before John McCain ended cancer treatment, that was the same thing. Days before he passed away, he said he was going to stop treatment. One is spending time at his Arizona home with family and friends as he fights against, or as he fights an aggressive brain tumor that has kept him out of the public eye since December. The Associated Press said former Vice President Joe Biden visited McCain for 90 minutes last weekend. McCain's daughter, Megan, tweeted last week she was heading to Arizona to be with her father. McCain and Bush offer high-profile examples of how to deal with terminal illness, and they're a welcome contrast to efforts growing in popularity in recent years, including in the United States, to expand the practice of assisted suicide. Arizona illegal. However, D.C., it is legal, and he had planned on going back to D.C. We much prefer the route chosen by Mrs. Bush and the one apparently being pursued by, by McCain, fighting the good fight, then dying a natural death. A White House aide to great criticism from both sides of the aisle is reported to have recently dismissed McCain's criticism of the Haspel nomination because he's dying anyway. Perhaps, but to his credit, McCain apparently is doing all the living he can until that time comes. I've also heard and, and this is Okay, let me just rewind here. In Arizona, let me pull this up. It said that it's illegal in Arizona. However, I found this on wikipedia.org. Of course, you know, this can be this can be altered, but in Arizona, the city of Bisbee became the first municipal I can never say that word right. Municipality blah, 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 in the country to approve an aid in dying resolution, although the vote is not legally binding. The resolution states that the city of Bisbee respects the diversity of perspectives of its citizens, supports equal protection within the diversity of perspectives of on end of life decisions recognizes the practice of aid in dying as a legitimate individual liberty. 
she did say that he died on his own terms, did she not? And why not, while not a legally enforceable document, urges prosecutorial discretion by the Cochise County attorney in deprioritizing cases involving prosecution of a person who has supported, been present, or facilitated a loved one to advance the time of his or her imminent death when facing intolerable suffering. So, it urges prosecutorial discretion in cases involving prosecution. So it's to their discretion whether somebody's going to be prosecuted who has supported, been present, or facilitated a loved one to advance the time. So in other words, they were getting ready. They're, they're trying to make it legal. Now it also stated that McCain was trying to go to Washington. So I'm just wondering, did he die in Arizona or did he die in Washington? Some of you may be wondering why I even did this video. Well, I felt like there wasn't a lot of truth that was coming out about this whole ordeal, and dishonesty is a big thing to me. And I will go ahead and tell you what I've heard. Now, I can't confirm nor deny that this is the truth, but I will let you know what I have heard. I heard that A, he actually died in Panama, not in Arizona. And I also heard that since, you know, what he did while he was POW, this has been said that they gave him a choice. Suicide with honors, which no shame for the family, or execution military tribunal. So... Who knows? Regardless, and you know, it might not even be, it, it's might not even be any of my business, but I felt led to do this, and I think it's kind of odd, you know, one day they say they're failing treatment, and either one or two days later, you know, they're passed away. It's like every little bit of their life is planned from start to finish. And I'm just sick of being lied to. So, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you all have a great weekend coming up. And much love. God bless.